To start things off tonight, we are joined by Hopkinton Town Clerk, Connor Deegan. Connor, how are you? Doing well, Tom. Thanks so much for having me on. Thanks for coming on. Uh, so there's quite a big election coming up and early voting is starting soon. How's everything going on your end? How's everything at Town Hall? I'd imagine it's uh, pretty busy over there. It's been extremely busy. Uh, we've been, we just got our mail-in ballots from the secretary just the beginning of last week. Uh, and so we have been nonstop just trying to get all those ballots mailed out to folks. So I know some people haven't seen them yet. Some people have. Uh, just rest assured, we're trying to get them in batches so that you'll all see them soon. And uh, early voting in Hopkinton starts this Saturday at the Correct. Senior Center. So tell us, what does everyone need to know who will be participating in an early voting? And uh, while you're doing that, we're going to throw up a graphic with some information. Excellent. Yeah, so uh, early voting is really simple for any of those who have done it over the past few years. Uh, it started in 2016. And it's pretty much just a chance to go in ahead of the election. You still check in uh, just like you would on election day. And the only difference being that you seal your ballot in a signed envelope so that then it can be stored securely until election day. Uh, but so when you go in over at the senior center, uh, when you go towards the main door, you'll instead of going through the main door, there's a door to the left that'll go through the library and you'll follow the arrows on the floor that'll take you directly to the area where you go to vote. Uh, mask wearing will be required as well as social distancing. The markers on the floor are all six feet apart so that you don't have to try to guess it. And once you get in, there'll be plexiglass between you and the election staff. You'll give them your name, your address, and then they'll be able to give you basic instructions and you'll deposit your vote securely into the drop box. Uh, however, if you are looking to drop off a ballot by mail, then you'll wanna go ahead and bring that to the drop box at the front door of town hall instead. That's terrific. So uh, you mentioned the safety procedures such as uh, wearing a mask and things like that. I imagine uh, the health director will be involved in some safety procedures too. So fortunately, we got to have a slightly drier run of this for the September primary where we had it over at the senior center as well. So we were able to run through the procedures with the help of our health director, Sean McAuliffe, as well as a lot of assistance from our deputy fire chief, uh, William Miller. And that's made it so that we have the safest possible way that we could do this. It's all the precautions are in place and it's all designed to be one way in and out. So that there's no passing of people and uh, there's enough parking. So it's quick, easy. I haven't had anyone last in there longer than, uh, than five minutes. And just in case people didn't see before, we'll throw those hours up again for early voting. It starts this Saturday, October 17th. And at the hours on Saturdays and Sundays will be 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Tuesdays, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Fridays, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. So early voting, if I'm correct, is uh, you don't have to sign up or anything. You could just show up during those hours at the Senior Center uh, no matter what location and go cast your ballot. Correct. No application needed. You just go in just like you would at the polls, as long as you're already registered to vote. But the, the interesting piece as well is that now the voter registration deadline is in the middle of the early voting period. So if for some reason you find that you weren't registered, then there's still a chance to register so that you can vote uh, early before the election. So uh, out of curiosity, uh, what's the procedure going to be if people want to vote on election day? Is everything still at uh, Hopkinton Middle School? Yep, we're still doing it at the middle school. For those who were able to participate in the town election or the state primary that we had, you will you probably saw that we had uh, more of the kind of crowd control barriers as well as plexiglass for between you and the election personnel. Uh, and pretty much it's just come in. There's a just like usual, we have the cheat sheet to see what precinct you're in. You go into your precinct line and then you get all squared away. I do recommend checking to make sure that your registration status is up to date before you go in because the thing that can make it so you take more time and you get stuck there for longer is if you find out that you're an inactive voter, uh, which still means you can vote, but it just takes a bit of paperwork to get you up there and get your ballot cast. And of course, uh, masks will be required for that as well. Yep. And uh, one thing that 
we saw in uh, a couple of the last elections that took place during this whole virus pandemic, there was all kinds of social distancing practices and people got their own markers and the markers are getting sanitized. Is all that stuff going to be in place? Yep. So what we do is we have it so that the election personnel will give you your ballot and your marker. And once you're all done, you're going to take your marker and there's a little deposit box at the very end when you're leaving. So after you put your ballot through, you can go ahead and drop that off and good to go. And then hand sanitizer waiting for you right there. Terrific. Can't beat that. Uh, so recently there was a press release about 200 voters receiving ballots in the mail. Uh, they had the wrong deadline on them. Uh, could you clear up that situation? And you did mention in the press release that they don't have to worry about anything. Yep. So uh, the, the actual directions that were sent out for the most part, year after year, the directions are identical. But for this year, the secretary printed new directions that had a box at the bottom with deadlines specific to the election. So essentially, a few of them slipped through the cracks and folks got primary deadlines on their instructions. Uh, it still has all the other info about getting that when you need to get things in, how you need to fill everything out. The only difference was just the dates. So, um, you know, a lot of folks kind of went on the approach of they just assumed when they saw September 1st, it must have been a typo. Uh, but uh, we just wanted to make sure that we got ahead and let the small number of people that were affected know that they didn't miss anything. They're good to go. They just need to go ahead and fill it out. And then we you know, obviously released the correct deadlines, which are by the actual election on November 3rd. Well, Connor, you guys are doing a great job at dealing with this election craziness. Uh, thanks so much for talking with us today. We wish you the best of luck with everything. Thanks so much. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Absolutely. Looking forward to Election Day. November 3rd, everybody, is Election Day, believe it or not. <laughs> oh. Right there. So there you have it, town clerk. Connor Deegan, election season is coming up. Early voting starts this Saturday over at the Hopkinton Senior Center. You could certainly turn to many places to find more information, including the town website at hopkintonma.gov, our website, hcam.tv. And of course, you could always call up the Senior Center. They have all the information as well.